So, Vince Cable, we now know that the shares were undervalued. No, they were, they were not. I mean, we should totally disregard all the froth and the speculation that goes on in the short term. It always happens with these flotations. What matters is where the price settles three, six months' time or beyond that. It's still nearly 40% uh, markup on its first hours of trading. For, nearly 40%. Well, that indicates it was far too low. It indicates absolutely nothing. The, you, absolutely you, nothing. You get the speculators operating in a short term market, they're of no consequence. You know, but institutional investors were something like 20% oversubscribed as well. So even people who, who aren't necessarily speculators clearly thought this was a very good deal. Well, th these flotations are often oversubscribed, and in many ways that's a good sign. But I think there was a lot of uh, speculative talk in the market about people potentially making a killing. Maybe that encouraged people to overbid. But the short term is you, you could have easily charged £4 and you would have easily got that as well. The fact is you charged £3.30 and have ended up looking like you sold it no, far too there cheaply. There is absolutely no certainty that the big, serious, long-term investors, the pension funds, the insurance companies who, who make up the dominant investors, uh, people who you know hold the savings of billions of British citizens, they're the people we want. They, they work focused on a realistic price range, not what the speculators were interested in. But they would have still been prepared to pay that money, presumably, no, we, I mean, we because of this oversubscription. I mean, they is, were all is, piling in. It is highly unlikely that if the government tried to play the market with the smooths and speculators, that, that this would have worked.